Hi all, Aditya here from JS of Tech. In this session, we are going to discuss the project number 29, which uh, deals with the baddie. Uh, we are implementing a baddie uh, in a particular transaction code called VL01, which is uh, for delivery. And uh, in this, uh, we ha we wanted to add a new tab and header. This is what uh, is uh, our, our main project right now. And uh, we have done this uh, project already in a particular, uh, particular uh, client. And uh, what are we going to do here is like we are going to implement this in a particular transfer. In, in fact, like we, we just now already implemented it. So I'm consolidating all those things that we have done. Okay, for starting up any baddie, what we have to do first is we just have to find out what is what are the different baddies that are that are assigned to a particular transaction code. To find out a baddie for any any transaction code, we just first in, to need to you know uh, get into the SC24 transaction. Uh, we need to just get into the SC24 transaction, and in the SC24 transaction, we just have to uh, get the CL underscore exit handler. CL underscore exit handler, and in this uh, CL underscore exit handler is the is the particular uh, class in which we have to go to the get underscore instance. That's the method in which we need to set a breakpoint at the call method. And this is where when we set a breakpoint here, no matter whichever transaction we we uh, execute, uh, we will be will be stopped there in that particular uh, function module. So because for every standard function module, there are already been couple of uh, baddies been implemented. So what we need to do is at the variable name, we need to give exit underscore name and just say enter. And we have couple of uh, couple of uh, uh, baddies that we have to make a note of. So I'm creating a word pad with these particular uh, exits. So this is the first baddie name that we have uh, found out and just press F8. And uh, we have, this is the second baddie, which we have for VL01 transaction. And we want to add a new tab in VL01 transaction. So this is the third baddie. And uh, We'd be getting all the list of all the baddies is what we'll note down. Okay, in this, uh, we just need to go to the outbound delivery change because this is where we want that particular, uh, you know, uh, tab to be added. So we'll first give the variable name as exit underscore name. And we have another, this is the same baddie that we have came across here. So we already noted it down. And uh, let's put, uh, let's press F8 again. This is the this is another baddie that we have come across, which we already have now. Delvin underscore process. Okay. Then F8. Surprising. CHP pricing. It's already there. And uh, we need. We just need to give some name, and we need to click on this header. So we'll have. When we click on the header, this is the baddie that we have come across. So we just need to make a note uh, that you know what are the. This is a baddie which might be the possible baddie in which we have to implement the code because we want to add a tab in the header screen so for that we just need to execute again baddie underscore layer is another baddie we just make make a copy of it and again f8 and uh, we have another baddie here uh, which we are going to make a note of it again f8 and this a lot of baddies actually now now this might be a possible uh, baddie because it 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 involves something like head subscreen header so customer tab so this might be a possible baddie so this is a possible baddie for a uh, customer item so we are first want to add a customer uh, first a tab for customer header and then we want to add a uh, tab for customer item if this is another baddie After writing down all the baddies, we just need to go through each and every baddie and we need to finalize which is the baddie in which we have to implement that particular uh, code that we want to uh, have it.
so these are the all baddies that are possible baddies which we have now what we what we supposed to do is first of all we'll exit and once we have written down all the baddies possible baddies we are just need to evaluate but don't forget to in, uh, remove the breakpoint because every transaction that has been run in this particular uh, particular server will come and stop here each and every transaction is get is involved with the get underscore instance so make sure that you remove the breakpoint and once we come out of this particular uh, 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 class uh, we just need to go into uh, we, we just need to implement this so for that we actually have to build a structure in a standard table called LIKP. LIKP is a table which in which the delivery header data will get uh, loaded. So for this we need to go to the utilities, uh, unity utilities, go to go to append structure. In this go to append structure click on the create button and we give a uh, baddie name, uh, append structure name and say ok and in this we will be loading all the fields, uh, all the fields which are required for this particular uh, you know uh, this particular uh, new fields that we want to add in a new screen so for that we have already uh, just now we have implemented jh soft tech in which we have added all these particular fields and for this we have created domains and data elements and with description is what we have given so these are the properties that are being given by the client and uh, based on that we have added all these fields remember we remember you need to create domains and data elements since you already know how to create this you create that and create an append structure here and save it and uh, activate don't forget to activate uh, only when we activate this that particular structure that we have activated will be appearing at the bottom in jhsoftech so we have here this jhsoftech is a structure in which we have all these fields and these are the properties for that so this is added in the likp successfully so after this what we have done is we have gone to SEAT transaction and in the SEAT transaction we have built a function group and this function group is ZZJHS FG you can even create a ZZJHS FG uh, a one and just you have to create this you know function group for VL01 and this is how we need to create and uh, probably preferably you have to give it the package the, uh, your personal package which you are already following in the project but as of now uh, I'm just keeping at local object and once we have done in this way uh, we will be we will be getting like this and we have to right click on this first we need to create a function module in fact we need to create two function modules which in which we have one for input one for output so in the in the in the function module that we have created for uh, input we just have this particular export parameters we have given cs underscore likp type likp uh, this is what we need to give in the in the uh, export parameters in the source code we just need to type this data Th this is these are the fields that we have to give cs underscore likp hyphen zz full now now the cs underscore likp is already we have implemented here in the export we, we have defined this and for this we are giving this we are getting these values these are the values which are which we are prior 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 to creation of function model we have created that in the include program so we have noted down written down all these variables uh, which are of type this particular uh, data elements these data elements we already created when we are creating the structure in the LIKP uh, uh, and you already know that so these are the these are the fields variables which we have created at the include level and don't forget to activate this once it has been done we need to go to the input and then in the input we have the source code we have written down that and in the output again we have a source code in which in the import parameters we have to give is underscore likp type likp and then in export parameters we don't have anything and the source code we need to just make a note of this source code and in the source code we just need to give these fields like you know these are the variables for which we have to update the data and in this what we have to do is we have to go for the screen number uh, we just have to create a screen uh, for that we have to right click on the function group create screen so the moment we create a screen we need to give some number and please make a note of this program because this is a program name which we are supposed to give at the at the baddie level so uh, we just have to create that and once we have created a baddie uh, once we created a screen which we, we just have to go to the directly we just have to go to the layout in the layout in the layout as you already know how to get the fields from program uh, we need to get the fields from the program for that we just need to click on this uh, button and uh, dictionary uh, fields from dictionary click on the d d fields from get from program and you will get all these fields since we have already uh, selected this and uh, place them on the screen they are logged and for this all all fields we just need to build the text you know how to build the text just display change and uh, select this text and uh, process this text and uh, once the display change is over 
come back and uh, make sure that this is activated everything have to be activated we have to make sure each and everything in this particular function group is been activated so first what we have done is i repeat what we have done in the function group we have created a function group and this the in the existing include program we have added this declaration part then we have gone to the uh, we have created a function model called zzvl underscore input in which we have to go for export parameters in this we have given this fields and then we have the uh, data uh, you know logic and this logic is what we have to type and uh, in the in the output we have given the uh, given the import parameters in which we have this likp and uh, once this has been done so what are what are the things that we have uh, done in the function group we have done input uh, two function modules one screen and declaration part in the include program once it's done everything is activated make sure that the even the function group also is activated function group is also activated this is activated okay so once it has been done this uh, work that we have to do in the function group level is been done so now we have we have uh, finalized that at the uh, you know the the body for which we have to do the implementation uh, is a particular body called uh, le underscore shp underscore tab underscore cast head how did we get this is we have uh, found a couple of baddies uh, in the in that particular program when we are running vl 01 n transaction we have uh, found out we come across couple of uh, uh, baddies in which after going through each and every body and uh, knowing what exact each body is involved for a particular uh, uh, process in this we just went into the display went into the documentation and read the documentation and understood that this particular uh, uh, body is actually imp uh, used for adding a new tab so what we have done is once we have concluded that this is the body for which we have to do the implementation we just have to either go to you go to the implementations and uh, create or we can go into sc09 transaction we just need to uh, go to sc19 transaction sorry so sc19 transaction classical body we need to give give this and create implementation so in this implementation we have already done an implementation called zhs softtech one and uh, once we have done this uh, done the implementations once we have done the implementation uh, it simply comes to this attributes level the, the moment you click and create button this comes into this attributes level and this we need to go to the interface level in the interface level we need to first click on the activate tab in the activate tab we just need to write this logic here uh, pre, uh, initially there will be no logic here so just we need to add this logic and we need to double click on the text hyphen 001 and we just have to give the text what we want to get there so this is jsoft tech data this is that this is the text that we have given and the program name whatever program name whatever we have uh, you know noted down from that particular function group that same program name is what we have copied here and we want to get this tab at the po position number four so for a change if you want to get it at second second uh, position you can just select it as two and that tab will appear as a second tab so we have the dyn pro number that is 9000 that's a screen that we have created at the function group level so this is a this is this is a screen number which we are giving it here and then we always have to give this cast as x so these are all the interfaces which already been done now and then we have to go to the second uh, tab in which we have to give this functional likp and then we have to go for this uh, sub screen and uh, cs underscore likp and then what we have to do is uh, these are okay what exactly we have done in this particular method is we have just called the f second function module which we have created zzvl underscore output this is a function module which we have to first call into the uh, first method uh, into the second method and in the third method we need to call the another in another function model zzvl underscore input and which we have to pass the cs underscore likp which has already been defined and we have to make sure that everything is activated once these are th these all things are activated uh, we just have to we just have to uh, go back and check in the vl german transaction code so we we have to uh, we have to check whether uh, our process is working fine or not since we have uh, implemented this particular uh, body for uh, existing existing standard body definition it will automatically appear at the screen level so we all that we have to do is go to the vl 01 and transaction output change and this give some uh, output delivery and click on this header header details and then what will happen is like jsoft tech data this this screen is already appearing so for for checking whether this is properly working or not i'll just select this